Hey guys, good morning, it's Callie. So we're nearing the end of the KonMari method process here. I'm just gonna have a few more videos and I'll be completely done. So today I've kind of been holding out on this. I don't know if it's because I've been dreading it or what, but we're going to dive into my sewing and knitting and crocheting, my art supplies, all things of that nature. And I'm going to begin this process this morning with my sewing supplies. Um, I'm going to include my knitting and crocheting and things like that as well uh, because I have less of those. But I'm going to show you where I have everything stored. And then I think the best place to do this will be my kitchen floor. So I'll lay down a sheet and then we'll lay everything out. And you know the drill. We'll begin the process of seeing what sparks joy or not. So give me just a second and I'll show you where I have everything stored to give you a before shot. Okay guys, so for those of you who have been following along know that I live in a very small cottage. So I have one closet for storage, which I'll be showing you here, this one. And this goes all the way into my bedroom on the other side. And then here's my bathroom door and here's my pantry. So in this closet, this is where I have my all of my sewing supplies. And... This is where obviously I have my thread and all things like wire and, you know, beading related. I have this one. I got these racks at the auction for a great deal. Um, you can also display them standing up if you have the room. So I'll be taking all of these spools of thread off. And then on the inside of the closet here, uh, <laughs> we have a map of the United States. This hanging rod here, I also have more thread and twine, and there's some more wire. So we'll be taking that off. And then uh, this rack here is more tape and things like that, so we'll leave that for art supplies. Down behind this ladder, I have, uh, that's my drawing board, but in the back I have some cutting mats. So I'll be taking those out, as well as some quilting rulers. These three bags uh, down here are all of my material. So I'll be taking that out, and then there is a bin behind there. I apologize for the lighting, and that bin is full of all sewing supplies, quilting supplies, etc. I have two boxes of embroidery floss. There is a box of ribbon behind there. Um, we're going to take out this hanging bag here, which has all of my knitting and crocheting supplies. And then hiding behind uh, where my finger's pointing is my sewing machine. So I'll be dragging that out as well. So we'll take all this out. I'm going to put it on a sheet on the kitchen floor. And I'll meet you back here when that's done. See you in just a second. Okay, got it emptied out, you guys. Took me about, I don't know, 45 minutes. So there's those. And then I emptied the rack up there as well. There was a lot of beading wire and things like that that I'm, I'm going to do beads separately, but I just took everything down. I switched out the world um, United States map for the little Pink Floyd. This is a jigsaw puzzle, which I actually need to get a frame for, and I keep forgetting at the auction, but that's nice to look at when I open the door. And then down here, you can see I took out all the cutting mats, and the only thing left is my drawing board. And then over here, I took out the cloth, which I didn't have three bags. I had six bags of fabric, which I will show you. So all that is empty now. This shelf here is all art and things to be altered. So we'll be going through that with my art supplies. And uh, that's going to be like the hardest box. And then up here is just kind of messy right now. But I just have paper towels and napkins and a bag of some sentimental items, which KonMari Method keeps mementos for the very last category, but it's stuff for my children, so it shouldn't take me too long. So give me just a second, and I will show you how I laid out everything on the floor. Okay, guys, I'm sitting on the floor, and I've laid out everything pretty much uh, in order, <laughs> if you will. The back basket here is all that thread and wire and beading stuff that you saw on the spool rolls on the door. This metal open train case is full of basic sewing supplies, thimbles, tape measures, seam rippers, miscellaneous things like that, needles. Um, 
my two boxes of embroidery floss. I have a box and a bottle of buttons. I think I have one more bottle. I'm going to take a look around the house too. This uh, box of ribbon. Here are some miscellaneous fasteners, zippers, snaps, some of them that even belong to my grandmother. A random pattern for like lounging yoga pants. Uh, an herb garden needlework kit that I got at the auction. Some embroidery hoops and quilting hoops. My cutting mats back there with some good scissors and a rotary cutter. My sewing machine. Um, I have another sewing machine that I gave to Tom that I got from my friend Ellen. So there's another one, uh, like a computerized one, at the cave. Uh, the cutting mats, I have a bunch of quilting uh, rulers and templates, knitting needles, quilting pounce, tracing kits, a roll of tool. Uh, this apron I made out of, look how dirty it is, out of an old pair of jeans. Um, no pattern, obviously. I just pieced it together, um, left the pockets alone, put some trim, and then another random piece of denim with a pocket. And I just added this ribbon um, loop for around my neck. And on the back, I lined it with some um, like celestial fabric and more denim on top. Someone asked me about it. That's why I'm mentioning it. Um, and I use it all the time for all my artwork and sewing, etc. There's a bag of like uh, stuffing pellets for like, you know, bean bags and things like that. Some quilters batting. And then here we have uh, six bags of fabric, all kinds. And I have some really beautiful fabric. I have velvets and silks and batiks, and, and it's just sitting away in these bags. So I also have a lot that I got from my friend Ellen and uh, travels along the way, bunches of old jeans. Um, there's a lot to go through. So six bags, not three. And then uh, in the back is my um, knitting bag. You saw that. Um, it's pink. I think I bought it one year for breast cancer awareness or something. So, and then under the, uh, quilting and stuff is my yarn, which I don't have a lot of yarn. Excuse the glare from the window. Um, but what I have is a lot of purple, as you can see. So you guys know me, I'm pretty organized by nature in my life in general, but of course there is a lot to go through, especially in this case and you know, all the thread and everything. So it's going to take me a little while. We'll see, you know, what we come up with in the end, but um, I don't anticipate purging a whole heck of a lot, but you never know. It's always a surprise. So, of course, I have a lot more here than I thought I did, but probably not as much as a lot of people. So, oh, and also behind the quilting pounce is a, um, like a rug hook hook, as well as a pair of circular knitting needles. So, that's it for the stash. Oh, and I think by the, behind the yarn there, I have some random like um, knitting measuring things and um, needles and stuff like that. So I don't do a lot of knitting or crocheting. Um, I know how to do both, but it's just really not my thing. I would much rather uh, sew on the sewing machine or embroider. Um, and truth be told, probably over the last year, I haven't done a lot of any kind of sewing. Um, the last thing I did was to make a wall hanging uh, probably last year, and then I made a quilt a couple of years ago. So anyway, enough of that. I will get to purging and sparking joy all over the place, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with that process, and I'll let you know how long it took me. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm about two hours into this. And right now you're looking at my spark joy. Um, this is everything with the exception of the buttons and the clothing. And I'll show you, or not the clothing, the cloth. I've gone through each and every item. Um, and I'll show you where we're at. I want to show you this now because I need to put this away to make room to lay out all the cloth and everything. So um, I am obviously keeping my sewing machine and the small Ziploc baggie in front of it is all different um, quilting foots and accessories for the sewing machine. There's my sewing machine manual. 
I'm keeping the cutting mats and all of the templates for my quilting. I have quite a few rulers and different triangular and square templates. Um, I probably have way too many scissors, but I did find two pair of bandage scissors, a pair of hair cutting scissors, um, and a little um, small trimmer scissors, so that's good. I also found uh, an extra rotary blade replacement for my cutter, so keeping all of that, keeping the roll of batting and the roll of tool, keeping the quilt pounce and all of the embroidery hoops, keeping all of the embroidery floss. Well, I'm not going to keep say keeping. All of this you're looking at I'm keeping, okay? So the tracing kit, these are water-soluble cloth pencils different invisible ink and chalks, needle threaders, a jar of safety pins, straight pins, boxes, more pins than I probably need, a traditional tomato and strawberry pin cushion. This pink pin cushion is magnetic, which is good if you, you know, need to clean up your area and just kind of run it over everything. Some ancient uh, buttons that can be fabric colored. Some patches, uh, fusible webbing, Velcro, old snaps, handmade with love um, tags, many, many needles, seam rippers, um, tape measures and thimbles, hook and eyes seam binding and ancient zippers and I also included just because it was all stored in the same place the beading wire etc even though it isn't technically sewing I did go through everything and this will be stored along the same spot so keeping all the beading wire and I have some hemp twine and various different um, sinew and a lot of fishing line. I have a lot, a lot of monofilament. And then all these ribbons. Um, lots of purple, of course. And then there's my crochet hooks. Those rug hooks. There are a bunch of different uh, knitting tools. They are um, space gauges and tip covers, and there are some quilting clips and large yarn needles, um, some knitting needles. There's some baker's twine, and this is the yarn that I decided to keep. Again, not a lot, you guys. There's some purple twine, and then this is all the thread I'm keeping. I tried, you know, I grouped it by color, so black, white, brown, red, gray, pinkish, yellow, green, blue, purple. And there's some more ribbon scraps. And then that bag of um, stuffing pellets. Okay, so all that are is keep and then this is what I still have yet to go through there's this bottle of buttons as well as this box and all of these which I'm just gonna dump out I had other ribbon um, that I separated out and so this is Christmas uh, or Yule ribbon that I will put in a Ziploc bag I'll show you all the Ziploc bags I wound up with um, I, it's funny, I had ran out the other day, and now I have about 60 of them. Uh, this is, so I'll bag this up and put this in the case in the bedroom with the holiday ornaments. And then here is my donate pile for now. I'm sure it may get, you know, will get bigger. Here's a garbage bag, which is, there's nothing. There's some scraps of ribbon in there, but uh, donating this yarn, as well as that uh, herb garden needle point kit thing um and then just random old scissors tape measure you know nothing so i'll give that to the united way so 
I just wanted to give you an update and I'm going to put this stuff away. I'll be vacuuming out the closet, uh, dusting out in there and I'm going to put the, oh, um, also this is all empty now. So the knitting bag is empty. This train case is empty. And I also, I didn't show you guys this. This was gifted to me years ago. I use this for, um, like items I need to grab quick. So, you know, pins and a pair of scissors and needle and thread or something. So all that's empty now. And look at all these bags, you guys. These all contain various things that you're looking at on the floor now. So I will reuse these. And I'm really happy with the progress. So big project. I probably won't be doing my art supplies until tomorrow. Uh, just because of course this was bigger than I thought. So, but we'll get through this today. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, another update. I just wanted to tell you, I changed my mind again. As far as ribbon storage goes, I'm going to use this clear box. I have a lid and I've decided to store the holiday ribbon and all of my ribbon together. Um, it doesn't really much matter, and, you know, the years are rolling by faster now, so I just have, you know, everything here, and then this is loose ribbon in this bag, and I'm going to, I separated out these um, red bows, and these I will put in the box with the holiday ornaments, so I just wanted to let you know before I go any further, next I'm going to put the thread back on those spools, and I'll keep uh, putting more stuff away, so I just wanted to tell you that. See you in a minute. Another little update, I've gotten all the thread back on these spool racks and I am going to add back in the bead twine and thread and all that stuff, but I just wanted to show you guys as I'm going along, how it's coming along. <laughs> this takes a long time, you guys. We'll see you in a minute. haven't gotten to the cloth or the buttons yet, but I wanted to give you yet another update uh, before I put this stuff away and just show you where everything's going to go. So um, this bag that you've seen before, I said I like to keep quick items to grab. So I have a jar of safety pins. Here's that pin cushion. I'll do both of them in there. A tape measure, some needles, and my good pair of scissors and a seam ripper. So they'll all go in that bag. And then I have this bin back out here because I'm going to be using that. But first I'll show you what's in this train case here. I have um, some needles. I have my rotary cutter. And then underneath I put um, a bag of the sewing accessories. So all of the different quilting foots, extra bobbins, things like that. On the bottom, I have the tracing pencils and the tracing kit. So that's that. A couple assortments of needles, especially big ones. I use these. Um, here's some chalk, thimbles, and needle threaders, two tape measures, and two seam rippers. Um, a iron-on denim patch, some handmade labels, a couple of random patches, um, these little scissors that are cute. I got these at the auction. <clears throat> Excuse me. They fold up, but they're good for trimming. You can put them, wear them around your neck when you're sewing and just have them on hand for little trimming shears. Here's those quilt clips. Some more safety pins, um, some quilting pins, and yet even more pins. So that's that. And then obviously I'm not going to be able to fit the big cutting mat uh, in any kind of a container, so I'll put that behind the drawing board again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. As well as the large rulers. These smaller templates I did put in this bag here, so 
This just has some squares and different triangles and a rectangle. So these I will put, um, I'm going to be using this bin. So that'll go in the bin. Um, a bag of needles, all this stuff will go in the bin. Bag of needles, the quilting pounce. I put all of the trims in here. Um, a bag of the fasteners, snaps, and the, those buttons. I put a bag of the fusible webbing and Velcro and elastic. There's the tool, the quilt batting, the embroidery hoops, and the stuffing. I don't think... You never know. I may be able to fit my sewing machine in there, but that's not really going to make it easy to access. But we'll see. I may do that. So all of that stuff is going to go in the bin, you guys. So I'll see you back here when that's done and uh, with another update. See you in a minute. Well, as you guys can see, I did decide to go ahead and put the sewing machine in the bin, which I'm not too worried about. The only things that I couldn't fit in there were, again, the big cutting mat and the two large rulers. Everything else was able to fit in here, so I'm really happy. Um, and this will be easy access. When I want to grab something, I'll just take the lid, lid off the bin, and I'll be able to grab this if I just need basic sewing repair. Um, again, I put, you saw what was in here, and then there's the tool and the quilt batting, the pellets, and then in the back are the bags of the snaps and buttons and the Velcro and the elastic. I put them all in one larger bag. Put the um, templates and the smaller cutting board in the back. And I have these sewing machine nestled in there nicely. Nothing's going to get ruined. So I'm super happy with this, you guys. <clears throat> and I'll be back with another update. See you in a minute. Okay guys, rolling right along. I hung up all the beading wire and the filament and twine up there. The stuff that I couldn't fit. So there's the string as well. So this is the whole thing. And I tried to get as much as I could on this, which I still have hanging here from the rod. I just used some wire to suspend this pole and um, so I have my wire there and ball chain, some more filament, and that big thing of twine, which when I pushed the rod through it, it all came out the one end and I couldn't really fit it back. And I don't really care. So that's hanging there. And I have the um, yarn caddy right there on the shelf. And I really can't wait to dive into that bin, you guys. But patience, patience. So that's all there. And then I fit the bin. Oh, I hung, put the um, cutting grids behind the drawing board there, as well as the large rulers. And then here's the bin. So there's plenty of room on the bottom. And as you can see, that goes all the way through. Um, I apologize for the poor lighting, but that goes all the way through to my closet. And the one bin that you can see on the floor there is the wax when we did the candles. So... Um, this space right here will be what I'm going to put our fabric in. So without further ado, I'm going to get to that, but I just wanted to show you, um, good progress being made here and I'm super pleased with everything. It looks really good. Um, yeah, so I'll see you when I dump all the fabric on the floor. Ah. And this is after with the buttons. I know I said I was going to do the cloth first, but of course I did the buttons. And I forgot to film it when I dumped them out, so I inserted the picture, and hopefully I did insert the picture of before, and now this is after. And I actually separated these out into color categories, you guys. And... I did throw away some. Anything that I couldn't get the thread out of after, you know, 15, 20 seconds of trying, I thanked for their service and let them go. 
and I'm really pleased with what I have left. I wish I had an organizer bin to set these up nicely, but I don't have an extra one that I'm not using. Um, I have a lot of my beads stored in those, so I am going to put these in Ziploc bags, and then I'll store them in a tin. I'll show you what I got rid of. Um, all of that in the garbage bag right there, so... Thanked it all for its service and sending it on its way. So I will be back with the clothing next. See you in a minute. Not the clothing, the fabric. See you in a minute. Okay, folks, so there you have it. I've dumped out six bags of fabric. Uh, it all looks the same. It's all purple and celestial. There's a lot here to go through. Uh, I'm blessed to have some amazing, amazing fabric. But yeah, this whole process today has taken a long time, you guys. I started at about 11 o'clock this morning. It's now almost 8.30 at night. I took maybe a 20-minute lunch break, and I've been at it all day long. So, so much for doing art supplies today. I will get to them this weekend, though. So, you know the drill. I'm going to go through every single piece of fabric here and keep what sparks joy and release what doesn't. So, we're getting near the end, but this is this is going to take me longer than an hour for sure. So I'll let you know when, when I get done. See you in a little bit. Well, good morning, you guys. I was up until well after midnight last night going through all of this fabric. Uh, I just, I had no more light left to film, so I said, let me just finish this in the morning. And I'm happy to say that I have completed this phase of our operation. So I'll go through the piles that I have here, <clears throat> and I'll show you what we're giving away. So hang on. Uh, in this top corner here uh, is a mend pile. I found a bunch of my old skirts that I haven't seen in, oh, I don't know, two years, three years that are all in need of elastic waistbands. So I'll be giving, look at all those, giving them some waistbands. And then here is my pile of denim. Not too bad. This mountain of quilt scraps, fabric scraps, everything, I did go through each and every piece. And I just, I'm keeping them, you guys. It's time to make a quilt. <laughs> I'll be able to condense all of that down into one small garbage bag, but I did go through each and every piece, and I, I just, at this point, cannot uh, give away any of this stuff. They're just too luscious, and a lot of these things were garments from, you know, days past, and just, I don't know. So I'm making excuses, but that's what I'm keeping in that pile. And then down here... Uh, as actual and, uh, you know, like, quote-unquote, good fabric. So actual yardage. Um, this pile is celestial-inspired, so I have a lot of moons and stars and uh, things of that nature. Some of this, a lot I got from my friend Ellen, and I also have had over the years. This pile here is all velvets. So I have a lot of um, deep purples and black, and there's a, a red square in there peeking out. Um, in the back corner here, I have some leather that were, this was a halter, and this uh, was an actual shirt. And you guys know I don't buy leather anymore, but I don't want to waste it. And so I will probably wind up someday cutting those up and using them to make medicine bags or some kind of pouch or something. We'll see. Uh, here is some more, uh, like, just nice fabric that was old. Uh, this was a dress and th some things like that. Here's some Grateful Dead fabric. This was a tapestry that I used to have. Um, 
and this is an old tablecloth. I really am in need of making some new altar cloths. And I would also like to make a couple sets of cloth napkins and maybe some placemats. So I have some project ideas. Here is some more batik fabric. Uh, really just nice stuff. And this I've had for years and I'm saving it to either sew on the back of a jacket or uh, something like that. But... On my own. This was a pillow. Um, I have a t-shirt that matches this actually. It's a tree of life. Sideways tree of life. So I have to keep that. This also was a pillowcase at one point. So keeping that. And on the back of that is moon upside downy and what is this just more wonderful fabric so yeah that is all keep <clears throat> excuse me i'm just getting like it must be a pollen time or something so what we're what i'm going to donate and here's our donate pile including that bag that's with the yarn and the buttons in there um, this is what I'm donating. And again, there's nothing wrong with this fabric. It's very good fabric, really. Uh, and if my sister's watching this, my sister Sue, you have first dibs on any of this stuff. Um, but it's just served its purpose. So I'm thanking it and we're going to say goodbye to that for now. What I would like to store this stuff in, um, the only other big bin that I have is now has my alter uh, things to alter for art in it. So that may be free later. But right now, the only thing I have free is this old Rubbermaid um, container, which is really pretty big. So I'm thinking that uh, with everything folded nicely, with the exception of that ginormous pile, that I'll at least be able to get this stuff uh, and the denim in here. This pile will be, go to mending, and this will go into a garbage bag. So I'll see you back here when I have that done, and we're almost done, you guys. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, I changed my mind about storage. I went back into the closet, took the sewing machine and everything out of this bin, and I'll show you where I tucked the sewing machine uh, when... This is all done, but I took the bin and I put all of our keep fabric in here and nicely folded and it just looks really great. So I'm really happy with that. Like I said, I had so much scrap fabric that I really, at this point, my only option was to put it in a bag. So I have this here and I'll be able to kind of tuck that away. I'll show you again when this is all finished, how everything's going to be stored. And then I took the tub that I showed you before and I put everything that was originally in the pink tub with the sewing machine. So here's all that stuff. And that's going to live very happily there. And I'll be able to stack that on top of that or vice versa. And then actually I kind of like the idea of this being out of the bin because this is what I use to grab handy. This is, you know, I told you basic sewing supplies are in here. So I'll just keep this out in the closet, as well as this, I'll be able to put this on a shelf. So there you have it. The next thing I'm going to show you is everything put away in the closet. And like I said, here is our donate pile. So I'm really, really happy with letting these things go. They will definitely spark joy for someone else. And, you know, I've been hanging on to them far too long. And it's just time. So... You guys, this took me a long time, a day and a half, um, definitely, but well worth it. And I'm going to take a break for the rest of the day. And tomorrow I will be doing um, all of my art supplies. So if you like this video, oh, I'm not going to say goodbye yet. I'll show you what everything's uh, put away. So hang on one second.
Okay, guys, everything is put away, and I am so happy. It worked out even better than I had originally planned. I put a light in the closet so it'll be easier for us to see. So you've already seen this. That has not changed, nor do I expect it ever will. And that's the beauty of the Kun one of the beauties of the KonMari method is that everything has a home. And as long as you return everything to its home spot, you'll never have to, you know, worry about clutter again. So you've seen this. And then in the closet, here we go. I took out the stuff that I need to alter, and I'm going to do that with art supplies, and that'll be for tomorrow. But here's our twine and string hanging on the bar. And then also on the bar, I hung the yarn bag which is full of the yarn and the crochet needles and all that stuff, anything to do with yarn and a good pair of scissors. And then in the back, which is what I'm really happy about, you can see I had that metal shelf, which I knew would come in handy. So I put that there under the shelf. I have that metal train case behind the purple bag. Sorry, you guys. reach so in there and then this which is super handy for me to be able to grab and then on top of that we have the ribbon storage here's my sewing machine which makes a lot more sense to have it out instead of in a bin so you could see my clothes in the back there I told you that's the other side of my closet so that's the top shelf and then underneath that is our quilting supplies and needlework supplies and that blue bin and then here's our fabric storage and then the very bottom underneath in the back which you could see the bottom bin again is wax and then the bag on top of that are my fabric scraps so you guys I could not be any happier right now there's the drawing board on the floor you know it just looks so clean in here and here's the top shelf. I have some paper products there. There's my toolbox that you've already seen. And again, this shelf here is full of masking tape, washi tape, all things tape. So we'll deal with that with art supplies. But what do you think, guys? Two thumbs up, huh? I'm super stoked. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you do. Check out the other KonMari videos in my playlist. And stay tuned for more fun and exciting videos. <laughs> I'll be back soon, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.